My name is Tatsuya Takahashi and this is First Patch with the EMS VCS3. The EMS VCS3 is a monophonic synthesizer released in 1969. Created by the Electronic Music Studios in London, the VCS stands for Voltage Controlled Studio. And the machine features three oscillators, a ring modulator, joystick controller and spring reverb. The VCS uses a patchboard matrix grid, with pins to connect the components as opposed to patch cables. And you could also perform and compose on it using an optional keyboard. The synth was used by artists such as Pink Floyd, Brian Eno, Delia Derbyshire and David Forehouse, amongst many other electronic experimenters. Today we have the VCS3 complete with the Cricklewood keyboard unit and being an early synthesizer, it looks and operates in a way that's very different from modern synthesizers. I'm just going to show you how to get quickly started. So the modules inside the VCS3 aren't connected by default and we need to add the pins into the matrix to make the connections. I'll be showing you how to patch a simple subtractive synth. We'll be taking the output from oscillator 1 and patching it into the filter the output of the filter into the envelope and the envelope signal into output channel 1 and this is the channel that's connected on the rear. To set up the panel set oscillator 1 frequency to around 7 the level of the sawtooth to about a half and on the filter we'll open it by raising the cutoff frequency we don't want response which is the same as resonance and we will set the level to about a half. On the envelope generator, we want no attack, no on time, no decay, and we will set the off time to manual, which is maximum. Again, the output signal will be setting to about a half. And as a general rule, it's good to start with all levels halfway on the VCS3 because it's really easy to saturate the circuits. We'll be neutralizing the output filter on channel one by setting the knob to midway and of course we need to raise the level on output channel 1. Now we have our basic dry sawtooth patch. Like many early synthesizers the VCS3 is known for its sound effects but I want to show you how to set it up as a keyboard instrument. When you have the keyboard plugged in the control signals come from the keyboard and into input channels 1 and 2. We'll be using channel 2 to send the pitch voltage to oscillator 1. So we select keyboard voltage on channel 2 and we will patch in the input channel 2 to oscillator 1 frequency. Now we need to turn the input level on channel 2 so we get octave spacing from the keyboard. And there's an extra oscillator in the keyboard which I want to patch in as well and we will be sending the signal through channel 1. So we select signal on the keyboard and we'll bring up the level. We'll bring down oscillator 1 so we're just listening to the keyboard oscillator and we need to patch in input channel 1 into the filter to play alongside oscillator 1 and bring up the level on channel 1. We need to adjust the tuning spread accordingly. And if I bring oscillator 1 back, I can tune the two oscillators to each other. And now we have a simple two oscillator synthesizer. And this is your first patch with the EMS VCS3. Mm -hmm.